Shalom, shalom. My name is Moray Petitia Jeremiah, and welcome to Powerful Deliverance. Today's lesson is a very power-packed lesson, and we pray that this teaching will be a blessing to you. Let us join our service that's already in progress. That the other people got stuff of the world. When we already have everything that's in the world, we have dominion over it. But because we can't be obedient to the simple commands of Yah, Yah has allowed our enemies to have dominion over us. It's real simple. When we get back to the basics, when we get down to the simple things, it makes it real easy. Hallelujah. We looked at the covenants that we made, the relationships that we were in. We looked at the content that we seek. But let's look at the ceremonies that we keep. Verse number 8. And their land is filled with idols. And they bow themselves to the work of their own hands to that to what their own fingers have made. Alright? We have gotten to a place and a point that because of our disobedience, because we were seeking the things of the world, we have became disobedient. Our disobedience had caused us not to have dominion over the creation that Yah has already given us. What has occurred and what it has done is it caused us to now get the correction of Almighty Yah. The correction of Yah is causing us now to be separated from the land that He gave us. It is causing us to be separated from the Creator that created us. It is causing us to now defile ourselves, poison ourselves, pollute ourselves, pollute our children. It is now causing us to do contrary to what Yah has commanded us. Alright? When we worship other deities, we are breaking Yah's Torah. It's just plain and simple as that. The enemy has forced us to worship their deities. Sad, a sad state of affairs in the black home, in the black community. That our Ishas, our women, are more faithful to the white hippie Jesus than they are to their own black men in their home. That's a sad state of affairs. The images, the idols that have been given to us to worship and bow down to has caused us to forsake our true love and break our store by bowing down to those deities that were made with our own hands. Come on. You think about this. I want you to think about this and think about this real hard. Right? How many idols, I'm sorry, how many pictures of Yah do you see? No. How many statues of Yah do you see? No. Why? Because, um, yeah. Because Yah is not an idol. Not an idol. He's not a, 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 a what you call him? Um, a statue. Statue. He's a spirit. He's a spirit. And he wasn't made by our hands. Yeah. But we were made by his. But you sure sure you sure do see a whole lot of darn uh, statues and pictures and images of Jesus, don't you? They got one of the um, art museums. They got two or three of them at the art museum. Wow. 
They made with man's hands. Come on, it's time for Israel to wake up. All right? Hallelujah. He said, now you place yourself above Yah as you have created your own deity. And this is what is happening. We have been given these idols, images to worship. And Yah said that thou shalt not have any graven images, nor shalt thou bow down to them. Okay? Yah has commanded us to keep his feasts. And his feasts teach us the things we need to know to be connected to Yah and to receive his blessings, his benefits. All of the feasts, you look at the feast of Yom Kippur, which we talked about this morning in Sabbath school. All right? What is the blessing and benefit of that? The atonement of sins. Sukkot. The ingathering. When we gather in the harvest. Yes. We say Yom Kippur. Isn't that Jewish? Isn't that no. Jewish? No. 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 What is Yom Kippur? No. You don't understand. Yeah. You should have been here. Talked about that this morning. We'll talk about it later. Okay. All right. All right, but just for this time, I'm going to share it because you need to know, in fact, what it is. All right? The bottom line is it's not Jewish, it's Hebrew. All right? It's the day of atonement that we atone for our sins. All right? Now, it's not just one day we should be doing atonement for our sins all year long, but it's a day that we come together and we lay before Yah. It's a whole day. 24 hours, you atone for your sins. Was that Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday? Was y'all keep Monday or Tuesday? No. Okay, okay. No. It's coming up. Because if it was if it was Monday or Tuesday, then we blew it. Okay, no, it's, it's this African thing that was going on with Asia. No, we didn't say okay. nothing about African. We said. No, 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 no. But they they I didn't even get into it because right. I, don't, I don't get into holidays. Right. But this is and, and this is not a holiday, it's a feast. That's what they were telling a feast. Okay. It was, that's why I'm talking. That's why I mentioned it. They, okay. It was just about family getting together, feasting. Okay. That was it. It wasn't like you know they don't really celebrate stuff. Uh, I was wondering. Leviticus chapter twenty three. Leviticus chapter twenty three. Okay. All right, read that. It'll, it'll explain okay, if you don't. Um, I forget. I think it's on one twenty nine. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and um, something you don't understand, just ask, we'll answer the question for you. Yeah. Okay? You All right. 123? 129. Page 129. And it's Leviticus it's, uh, chapter 23. And, and you can just go ahead and read the whole, whole chapter. But we only did, I think, from 24 okay. to 36 or 37. 21 to 37. Okay. 21 to 37. Thank you. 21 to 37. But I would suggest you read the whole thing. Okay? okay. All right. So, we get into these ceremonies and these, these idols and all of this, and then it gets so bad that we want to incorporate our paganism into what Yah commanded. That causes us to deviate, excuse me, from what Yah said. Nowhere did Yah tell us to incorporate Christmas or none of that crap. Okay, we talked about that this morning. Business chapter 23. All right? Watch here, 23. Okay? So, you're breaking the Torah by bowing down to these, these statues. All right? You refuse to keep Yah's feast. And this feast is what teaches us, okay? Yom Kippur, um, benefit, atonement. Sukkoth is, is the protection and, and the... Um, intense in the wilderness. In gathering is the great harvest. All right, we receive the end, har end time harvest. Okay, every feast that Yah commands us to keep has a benefit. Has a benefit for today, and has a benefit for the future, and has a benefit for eternity. All right, all right. These, these, these. All of these feasts teach us relationship. How we interact with Almighty Yah. Okay? And how we're connected to Him. To know how to be connected to Yah and how to receive His benefits. Alright? These are only ceremonies. These are only ceremonies that we should be keeping. Alright? Leviticus chapter 23. That lists all of, all of the feasts. Okay? Alright? 
And when we understand that when we start incorporating our own stuff and doing our own thing and bringing it our own, own way, we are now rebelling against y'all. What does y'all say about rebellion? I'm glad y'all asked. Shamu, um, 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel, chapter 15. And that's on page 3 or 299. Actually, Is it 15? Yeah, 15, 297. Which uh, with the verse? Verse 23. 296. Seventeen, you said? No. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen twenty three. Fifteen. <clears throat> All right, and be dustly. For rebellion is the sin of divination or witchcraft. And stubbornness is as a wickedness and idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of Yahweh, he also rejects you as sovereign. Okay? So anytime we're rejecting Yah's word, we are practicing witchcraft. Okay? And idolatry. As we were talking about last night, idolatry is nothing more than spiritual adultery. Okay? We are married. We have a covenant with Yah. And when we are worshiping other deities, we are committing idolatry. Alright? Let's turn to Galatia. Five nineteen. Five nineteen. <laughs> oh wow. Well you already got the email, didn't you? You said Galatians what? Five nineteen. No, I didn't get it. Well yeah, yeah, I got it. that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> that's why I'm laughing, man. Five nineteen. This is Jeremiah in my book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What? 519 is Jeremiah. No, I'm no, saying no, Galatia 519. Galatians. Galatians. The fifth chapter. 19th verse. Oh, we need back. Near back. Just near the back. Yes. Right behind 2 uh, Corinthians. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, 1135. of the flesh are manifested, which are these, adultery, fornication, which is illicit sexual intercourse, uncleanness, physical in a moral sense, lustful, luxurious, okay, impure motives, lasciviousness, unbridled lust, excessive Wantonness, outrageousness, okay, idolatry, all right, spiritual fornication, the worship of false quote unquote gods, the formal sacrifice, all right, held in honor of a false god, all right, witchcraft, for those of you who are using drugs. Poison, sorcery, magical arts. It's the Hebrew or the Greek word pharmakia, where we get our English word pharmacia or pharmaceutical. All right? It is connected with idolatry, fostered by it. It's a metaphor. The deception or seductions of idolatry. All right? Hatred. 
variances. That's that contention, strife, wrangling. You know, um, I think it was Jeremiah or Elijah. I'm sorry, Elijah said, how long are y'all going to flip-flop between two opinions? How long are y'all going to strive on this? How long are y'all going to debate? How long are y'all going to argue? How long are y'all going to fight? How long are you going to variance between two opinions? How long are you all going to continue to strive and wrangle? All right? Emulations. All right? Excitement of mind, endeavor, adore, fervor of spirit. All right? Fierceness of indignation, punitive zeal. Okay? Wrath. Strife. Strife again. Come on. Stop striving. Seditions. Dissension and division. Huh? How long are we going to be divided? How long, how long are we going to keep, keep going against uh, the Torah? All right? Heresies. All right? An act of taking or capture or storming of a city. Um, a body of men followed by their own tenets. All right? The Saris, uh, Sadducees, the Pharisees, the Christians, dissension among the, diver the diversity of opinion and aims. All right? Envying. To envy. Murderous. Drunkenness. Intoxication and drunkenness. Reveling. Carousal. Righteous possessions. Okay? And the such like of which I told you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yah. Wow. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, and all suffering. And Gentleness, everything that was named in previous verses, now he has given you the opposite of that which will cause us to overcome. Peace, long-suffering, gentleness, toughness, faith, meekness, temperance. All right, meekness, gentleness, mildness. All right, temperance, self-control. Against such there is no law. In essence, what Shaul was saying is, is that if you're keeping Torah, then really there's no law. You're doing the things that the law is already requiring. You're already doing the things that Yah is commanding you to do. You have volunteered. You have submitted yourself to do the things that Yah has already commanded you to do. Turn back to Isaiah. Hallelujah. As long as we continue to do the ceremonies and the things that are contrary to Yah, it is causing us to defy Yah. It is causing us to break Yah's Torah. It is causing us to do things that are contrary to Israel and the household of Yah. All right? As I look around today, I see that Israel has become... Um, very uh, alluring um, and, and, and accepted of incorporating different things. I'm looking at a brother today, he had a post about some positions of prayer. And I'm looking, I'm saying, wow, that looks like the way the Muslims pray. So now we want to incorporate that in and try to bring that in to look, you know, to make us look more regalious or more religious. Because we pray a certain way. Well, let me tell you. When you're in the heat of battle, and you're going through things, and you're fighting, and you're in the heat of the storm, and, and stuff is going on, and and, 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 and and the enemy's on your butt, you ain't got time to get no positions. Gotta figure out which, which way the east is. Which way the east is, and all this old crap, man, you better cry out the yacht and stop acting like you crazy. Come on. We'll turn to the west and or to the east, and you can bow in this position, and, and that means that, and this, that, and other. 
Man, y'all don't care what position you in as long as your heart is right to him. Hallelujah. Come on, I do some of my best praying in the shower, butt naked. I make, do some of my best meditating sitting on the toilet. Hallelujah. So the bottom line is, is this. Let's stop incorporating idolatry into the things of Yah and trying to justify it by being deep. All right? See, you can have it your way. You can't have it your way or both ways. It has to be Yah's way. It's not my way. It's His way. Or it's no way. All right? So all of our ceremonies and things... They have to be done according to the way Yah wants them done. So we can be pleasing to Yah. Our little daughter, wow. We had, I, y'all had to remind me to show you this picture of our little uh, 17, 18 month old pushing a fully loaded shopping cart through the supermarket. Mm-hmm. Oh, what what is is this? I know, she just moved back. So we're in trouble now, so you can forget the roll in the rack, baby. It's, it's over. See, you gonna start getting that speech. <laughs> you, um, well, you, you might be not like that. You might be not like that. You get that little speech before you go in the store. All right. So we looked at we looked at the covenants. We looked at the content we were seeking. We looked at the the the, the ceremonies that we're seeking. Let us look at the promise horror, but let's look at how they were cowering in fear. <clears throat> All right. Verse 9, I forgot. Um, they'll bow lowly and high, and the high is humble. Therefore, you therefore you do not forget them. All right. So Yah, in all your ceremonies, bearing, bowing down, and this, that, and the other, Yah will bring you low on his terms. All right. If you're not doing things his way. Okay. Um, verse 9. Into, into the rock and hide in the dust because of the fear of Yahweh and the splendor of His excellency. Oh my. Mm. Because they did not have true fear of Yah. We will now have the fear of the wrath of Yah. And you have to understand that it is better to have a fear of Yah and honoring Him and and, and, and reverencing him so that you can end up pleasing Yah versus him having to humble you and you have to come in cowering. Alright? They denied the crown because we have denied the very power of Yah. Because of the fear of Yah and the splendor of his excellency. You have to understand the excellency of Yah. Alright? That He is the King. He is the Sovereign. Alright? Hallelujah. They will be cast down. Verse 11. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled. And the proud, the pride of man shall be bowed down. And Yah alone shall be exalted in that day. Mm, the proud will be humbled. And this is the most important thing that we can learn in this is to humble yourself before Yah humbles you. You don't want to get to that place at that point of Yah humbling you. So it just makes it good sense for us to humble ourselves before Yah humbles us. Alright? Twelve. For they for Yah hosts has a day against all that is proud and lofty against all that is lifted up. So that it will be brought low. Alright? And against all the cedars of Lebanon that are high and lifted up. And against all the oaks of Bashar. Alright? Yah will bring you low. Not only will he bring you low or you will be cast down. But they will also be crushed. The choice is yours. You can humble yourself or be brought low by Yah. Yah is going to bring all the proud ones low. Verse 14 through 18. And against all the high mountains, against all the hills that are lifted up, against all every lofty tower, and against every strong wall, against all the ships of torches, and against all the desirable craft, 
and the lowliness of man shall be bowed down, and the proud, the pride of man shall be brought low, and Yah alone shall be exalted in that day. Listen, Yah is going to get his praise. Either you can give him his praise, or Yah will get his praise. He will get his esteem from you. Alright? Hallelujah. 18. And the idols will be completely passed away. So this makes good sense that we humble ourselves now. Bow ourselves now to Yah. Because all nations, including Almighty, uh, including Israel, will bow to Almighty Yah. Alright? Hallelujah. They shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth from the dread of Yah and the splendor of His excellency. And He shall arise to shake the earth mightily. And in that day, man shall throw away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each for himself to worship to the moles and the bats. To go into the cleft of the rock and into the crags and to the rugged rocks because of the fear of Yah and the splendor of His excellency when He arises to shake the earth mightily. Cease from man, cease from man whose breath is in his nostrils, for in what is he to be reckoned upon? Yah is going to get his esteem. How do I know? Well, for that, all you got to do is go back to where we were last week. Verses 1 through 5. We will learn Yah's way. All the nations will come to the temple in Jerusalem for worship and instruction in the scriptures. Verses 1 through 3. We will live Yah's way. Yah himself will settle disputes and bring peace. Nations will beat their swords in the plowshares. And the spears and the pruning hooks. Verses 4 through 5. One way or another, we want to serve Yah. Either we can choose to do it on our own accord, or we can stand and cower before Him in the judgment, and then face an ultimate eternal death or an eternal separation from Yah. The choice is ours. You can do it your way if you want. But your way is going to cause you to fail. Your way is going to cause you to fall. It's the best that we do it the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Any questions? Any questions at all? Online? All right? We all good? Thank you, All right, dear Heavenly Father, we bless you, we honor you, we rock you, we told you because of who you are. Thank you for what you have done and what you're going to continue to do. Father, have your way in this, the rest of our Sabbath. We pray that you bless this food uh, that we're prepared to eat. We pray that you would just um, keep us during this time of fellowship. Father, we pray that you would uh, bless the rest of our service, our afternoon um, teaching for our men's and women's fellowship. We pray that you would have your way. So in the name of name we pray. Hallelujah. Shalom. Hallelujah. Another power pack lesson here on Powerful Deliverance. My name is Maureen Matitia Jeremiah, and we pray that today's lesson was a blessing to you. Until next week, may Yah rock you. And we look forward to fellowshipping with you here on Powerful Deliverance.